This is Duas Quintas, 2011 Duoro from Ramos Pintos. Of course, Duoro is a region in uh, Portugal. So this is a, a dry Portuguese red. Um, you know, Ramos Pintos is very famous uh, for producing fantastic ports, you know, sweet fortified wines. But since 1990, they've been making dry reds. Um, and why not? Because the Douro region of Portugal is a, just a great growing region uh, for producing full-bodied dry red wines like this one. And so um, the, the Tinta Roriz is one of the grapes they grow, and that's actually the Tempranillo in Spain, but it's an uh, import, important grape in Portugal as well. But then there are the Portuguese grapes, the Touriga Nacional and the Touriga Franca. So this is a blend of all three. Now the Duas Quintas refers to two uh, vineyards. A Quinta is a, a vineyard, basically. And so they have uh, these two vineyards, one at sort of a, a low elevation. It's kind of in a valley, uh, very sort of uh, warm climate conditions a lot of sun, so you get a lot of ripeness, but you also get, uh, it's very dry, so you get low yields, you get these, these very concentrated um, ripe grapes. And then you have the high altitude vineyard, about 2,000 uh, feet above sea level, um, which gets a lot of wind and a lot of like the cooling effects of, of the altitude. So that um, tempers the ripening, so the grapes are more balanced, more um, or maybe they gain complexity because they hang on the vines longer and they maintain their acidity. So they're blending these, these deeply ripened concentrated grapes with these nicely balanced sort of um, complex high acid grapes, okay? <laughs> and that's where they get the duas quintas. And they uh, age it in uh, oak barrels for added complexity. And mm, noses. It's really nice. Um, I actually get uh, cassis on this. Cassis cherry. I'm getting some leathery notes. A little bit of um, anise licorice. A nice uh, black fruit like plums, also. Hmm. It's really kind of a rich nose. Let's try. This is kind of a um, kind of a big wine. Um, a, a lot of uh, a lot of concentration, um, a good structure, uh, nice fruit. You get those black cherry, black plum, um, and that kind of moves over to to anise licorice, um, and I'm getting mineral notes along with that, sort of like wet stones. And um, nicely balanced. Um, obviously, there's there's some tannins in this wine as also. I mean, it finishes quite dry. Uh, it's good structure. It's something that uh, you can age this for for uh, a few years. I mean, I guess you know you think about vintage port, <laughs> and that's a wine that obviously ages forever. And in many ways, this this wine has some similarities to that in terms of the uh, the style of the fruit and the structure. Um, but obviously, it doesn't have the sweetness. But it's a, a nice, big, bold, easy-to-like red wine. <laughs> Happy drinking.